You ready? Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the CC and Doc Talk podcast, which is now video. So now what you see is what you get. You're going right. to get Amy here, don't care. That's right. Be as you are. And Technicolor CC on a regular basis. I did put makeup on for you all today, but I didn't. that is not going to happen. I was on my way the out the door to do some trenching and she's like, let's do a podcast. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's just sit down. So here we are. Because this is how our lives work. And I'd like to welcome you to season four of the CC and Doc Talk podcast. We decided that if we were shifting over to video, that this was a great time to start season four. So this is season four, episode one. Just a little housekeeping for you. You can now find the CC and Doc Talk podcast on YouTube podcast. You can find it on YouTube music. Is it YouTube music? It, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> well, that was fun. You can find it on YouTube and YouTube music. And we are going to work on continuing to get it on the regular podcast channels, but we just haven't decided whether we want to spend the money on that yet. So Otherwise, you can find it on YouTube channels. It is our YouTube channel, CC and Doc, C C N D O C. You can also find it at our brand new, sparkly, shiny, consolidated website, ccndoc.com. That again is C C N D O C. Compliments of CC, who did all the work on that. That was a butt buster. And <laughs> <laughs> thank God it's done. <laughs> Most people would say labor of love. But okay. <laughs> It was a butt buster. You can also, by the way, <laughs> find my my badass life um, vlog and blog out at that same website, ccndoc.com or at mybadass.life. Now nice. that I've done all the plugs for all the things, is there are there any other things we have to plug? No, let's do it. All right. Well, we have a doozy of a topic for you for our first <laughs> podcast of season four. Only because timing presented itself. All right. Do you, do you want to no, no, introduce please, by the all means. topic today? So mm -mm. we're just going to wade into it, kids. Now, you know that sometimes- we like a cannonball into it. Yeah, we're going to cannonball into it. Sometimes we like to try to add a little diplomacy occasionally to our podcast, but being the unecleptically or un, unapologetically eclectic dynamic, dynamic duo. duo that we are, and- in this particular election year, when there's only two weeks, folks, to the next election, we needed to chat about something today. So today, we are talking about the Colorado ballot and a Colorado amendment called Amendment J. Now, if you don't live in Colorado, we don't want you to stop watching because we're guessing this that other states, other states yeah. have a similar... And we were surprised. We're going through and reading shocked. this massive booklet here, the Encyclopedia Britannica of Voting. And all of a sudden, we come across <laughs> this this one item, and we're like, "What?" Yeah. So, so all right, and, get right and, to it. And you're also going to get a little history lesson here on same sex marriage and LGBTQ plus marriage. So, here is what Amendment J says. They didn't give us the actual amendment wording, but basically, it's whether we want to repeal the definition of marriage in the Constitution to finally include same-sex marriage. Now, history lesson for you. Before 2016 in the state of Colorado, the only thing that we were allowed to do was have a civil union. And that was a long time coming. It was literally like 2014 yeah. or 2015 when that became legal. So civil union in the state of Colorado. So this law that banning, basically a ban on same-sex marriage law has been on the books in Colorado for, I don't know how long. So the federal do that stuff research. over... Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah. Yeah. So that was 2014, 2015. Along around 2016, the Supreme Court in their infinite wisdom finally decided that we folks should have the right to marry. So they declared same-sex marriage legal federally across the entire country. Now, what that means is that it superseded any state States. laws. So right now, legally, at the federal level, we are married, just like y'all heterosexual folks are married. We're married. And this right here, if this gets voted down in the state of Colorado, and at some point in the future, if 
federal marriage rights for same-sex couples should get rolled back, then guess what? We're no longer married at the federal level. We're no longer married at the state level. And that brings with it a whole shit ton of consequences for couples like us. So if you know and love us, we're asking you today to vote yes, 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 a resounding yes on Amendment J in Colorado. So now we're going to discuss. And by the way, here's the thing that I love about YouTube and the thing that I didn't like about just the audio podcast is if you have questions or comments, you can actually add those in the in YouTube and we can respond. How cool is that? So if you're confused about what I just said, feel free to respond. Don't be ugly though, because any trolls, you're just going to get deleted. I'm just saying it right now. Just, just mind your like hearing understanding, mind, right? Mind your P's and Q's out there. Right. Find some courts. But yeah. Be nice. Exactly. Okay. So let's discuss this. So we, we both thought that this language had been changed in 2016. Yeah, I was shocked to see it on the ballot. Yeah. Shocked. So, so at about, long about 10 o'clock at night the other night, Amy said, we need to do our ballots. And I'm like, I'm really exhausted. Can we not do this tonight? And she's like, no, it's not going to take that much time. Let's do it. So of course, you know, I made my, I made my, my presidential choice because there's only one choice in my opinion. Um, and then I got to this amendment and I literally was like, what the actual, I think and you know how to end that sentence. I think you had steam coming out. Oh my God. And I'm like, thank you so much for making me do this ballot before we go to bed. I know you have been riled since. I have. That's, I have. Days That's why we're doing this podcast because. Oh my God. Okay. So how did you, I mean, what did you, what was your reaction? Cause she's like more calm. Yeah. See, this is it. She's like, she's like calm. We're going to F down. We're going to have to do a podcast on the HSP, the highly sensitive person and how we approach yeah. things, you know? Yeah, and, exactly. You know, just to, just to tee that up, I see dog shit and I go, yeah, it looks like dog shit. Don't step in it. She rolls in it, you know, but anyway, so that's what she's doing that's right now. That's what an now. HSP does. I'm rolling in the paint. spiraling in this. And, I'm so um, pissed off because I know that the current climate, the current political divide in our country is significant. And the ultra conservative radical right, they not even to say Republicans, because, because the Republicans, right now don't even resemble no, the old Republicans. Um, it's but different. It's, it's a different mindset. And those folks want us to go away. And I'm just going to say it, Project 2025, they just want us to go away. And, and, in, and so I can actually see if the wrong person gets elected, that we will ultimately be facing yeah. a same-sex marriage ban throughout the country. And if this well, what does that mean to Colorado us? doesn't pass. That's what I mean to well, that. I mean, so, so you know, back, what's the impact to the LGBTQ community and, okay. you know, people who like us who are very happily married <clears throat> and, yes. you know, we, we and appreciate cancer survivors and cancer survivors. Yep. And, you know, so let's just focus on the rights and the difference that it makes to us. You so know? back in 2016, when, Federal marriage became legal. We were, we all of a sudden overnight became afforded 1,100 plus rights as, as a couple that we'll give we you a couple denied, examples that we were denied previously. And, and now sitting here as a cancer survivor, I can, I can speak to that. One of those rights is the ability for her to be my caregiver. The ability for such me, as in a hospital, they may not let me into ICU if we're not married that or means, anywhere so. because if you're not, not a spouse, she's not my legal spouse and their immediate and family. family, right? Yep. And that happened. That was happening all over the nation. And I'm sure there are a lot of people who would still like it to be that way. And then um, Social Security, we were not able to get each other Social Security as a spouse. What if the other right. person died? And that's a significant difference in our world. <clears throat> right. Now, um, and then it was also, you know, filing taxes jointly. Now, back in the day when we were both working in corporate America, that was not a benefit to us, filing taxes jointly. But now that we're retired, it actually is a bit of a benefit to us. Well, I mean, just a, just a difference. I mean, uh, you know, on a tax return, us to file separately uh, versus together, I mean, it could save us $15,000. Right. Um, that's the difference that it could make. So, I mean, Absolutely. it's a significant financial impact to us, which actually helped then pay for health care. Absolutely. Which is another difference. And, and speaking of health care. So when it, it, if Amy or I were still working in corporate America um, or with a, a, a job outside of the home, 
um, we would no longer be allowed to be on one another's health insurance. So that's one thing. And I'll talk about the tax piece. And when you don't have the benefits, um, all of you that are married, you get the you, you pay the premiums pre-tax. And so when you're not married, then I, I was allowed to have Cindy on my medical benefits, but her premiums were after tax. So tax and differently and cost tax more. differently and cost more. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, you know, there's a lot of subtle differences that people are unaware of. And these are just a few of the eleven hundred. Yeah, eleven hundred, right. And so I, we just gave you four. And I feel like idea. now it's gonna be more than eleven hundred if we oh, lose it's just this yeah. we're and, we're gonna figure out where are we moving next. Yeah. And I don't know, it might be international. How do you feel about international travel? How do you feel about Portugal? I heard that Harry and Meghan are moving to Portugal. So. Oh well, there we go. So let's just follow the good leaders, right? If you're gonna defect, if do it well. Or you know, Canada, we love Canada. We do so. love Canada. And Mexico. Yeah. Well, Mexico has well, we, uh, we were actually a female president there. So anyway, I, I hate anyway, to say so. this, but been there, done that Mexico thing. We were planning to I know we should have kept Mexico. our condo. Should have kept the condo. Anyway, Anyhow. Our friends in East Lumeras would say that too. But, I know. <laughs> so, oh well. Here here speaking of, I got to say this, because speaking of privilege, there are a couple of sayings in the LGBT community that I want to share. One of them is that if you've never had a government or a Supreme Court decide your rights, then you have privilege. And the other is that- But yeah, just pause there. I mean, just think about that. If you've never had a government, government decide your rights, what you're fighting for or what you're appreciating or what you're enjoying is privilege. And by the way, that applies to women too. Yeah, because the government is deciding women's rights. Women's rights, LGBTQ plus rights, people of color's rights. Yeah, if you've never had the government decide your rights, you have privilege. You have privilege. It's not just independence or freedom. You have privilege. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, and uh, there is another saying that you shouldn't tell someone you love them and then vote for someone or something that will hurt them. That would be completely against them and hurt them. So I'm going yeah, to, that is quite a painful one for us. I'm going to tug on your heartstrings right now. And I'm going to say, if you know us, if you love us, please vote yes on Amendment J. I'd also like to ask you to vote for the correct presidential candidate, but it is well, your vote right for to vote. Just vote. Just yes, vote it's not about policy. the person, vote for right. policy. And if you enjoy social security, if you enjoy Medicare, Medicare. you may want to look at policy over person. That's Anyhow. Person. And true. And if you don't mind, if you don't, if you, if, if you are of a live and let live philosophy, I'm not even saying you have to be pro gay. I'm just saying if you don't give a shit what happens in other people's bedrooms. And by the way, we've been together almost 23 years. So we sleep I'm going to tell go you to we bed. sleep in our bedroom. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm just saying, and, but if you don't care about those kinds of things, then don't be voting for the people who are going to spend all of your tax dollars trying to discriminate a t against a tiny portion of the population. Yeah. The gay population makes up 10 to 12% of the population. The trans population makes up it's about 1% like, of the population. They are spending your tax dollars- On the wrong thing. On the wrong thing. And by the way, those, those laws, those anti-LGBTQ laws, they can ultimately affect some cisgender people at some point too. Just saying. Yep. And it all has a larger impact. There's unintended consequences to all of this. So yeah. is there anything I think want to say? Gonna Otherwise, we're just going to wrap this up. And uh, I think this is going to be real new. This 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 version of you and me is going to be real new to a lot of people. And I kind of really, like Amy it. Hair don't care is not new. You and Technicolor <laughs> is not new. So me and shorts are not new. So, but us being willing to put a few things out there, you know, maybe that's not new either. Exactly. So um, I do want to bring up one interesting, ironic fact to close this podcast, which I'm is, shocked by this, which is this, the governor of Colorado, Jared Polis is a gay man <laughs> and <laughs> he's a married gay man and for the record. He's same sex marriage, gay man. So if this amendment doesn't pass yeah. and federal marriage rights get rolled back, the governor of Colorado won't even be allowed to be married. I'm just saying folks, does anybody see the ridiculousness, the irony and all of, of this? this? Yeah. I'm just all saying. Right. Anyway, thank you for joining us for our first <laughs> online video. <laughs> Why did we decide to go video? It's well, a, maybe it'll go viral. Really? She decided to go video because I'm like, let's just put it on video. Let's, let's just keep just do it, it easy. All, all right. right. There so, you have it. Guess what? We love y'all. Get out there and vote. Everybody has the right to vote. Your vote does count. Make it count. Take care. Happy everything. And let's hope it's also a happy election. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Namaste. 